Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, Logan's hip still hurts. Uh, pray that it gets better. Uh, he's getting around just a little bit better, but we want him to, you know, go slow. Don't try to hurry uh, where you could bump into something maybe or trip over something, you know. Just take your time uh, going where you're going. And that's good advice for anybody, really. Uh, continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son, Michael. Um, my poison ivy is just a little bit better. I just got my new, I had to order some of that Absorbing Junior. And I got it yesterday and it's, it's helping. So hopefully everything will be cleared up by June 12th when I go to uh, the procedure for my mole. Um, Jackie's side is still hurting. Continue prayers for her. Tim went to the ER on May 26th. He has liver cancer and they found out he has an infection. Pray that he'll get better. Michelle has cancer and she's going to have a second surgery to remove it. Pray they get it all and that she'll be okay. Brian's feet are doing better. Colleen said thanks for the prayers and that they worked. Pray for anyone that was affected by all the recent storms in several states. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Psalm. It's Psalm 42, 1 through 5. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Thirsty and thankful. Two friends and I were checking off a bucket list item, hiking the Grand Canyon. We wondered if we had enough water as we started out our hike, and it ran out fast. We were completely out of water with still a ways to go to reach the rim. Panting mixed with praying set in. Then we rounded a corner, and what we maintain as a miracle happened. We spotted three water bottles tucked in a cleft in the rock with a note. Knew you'd need this. Enjoy. We looked at each other in disbelief, whispered a thank you to God, took a couple of much-needed sips, and then set out on the last stretch. I've never been so thirsty and thankful in my life. The psalmist didn't have a Grand Canyon experience, but it's clear he knew how a deer acts when thirsty and possibly scared. The deer pants, a word that brings to mind thirst and hunger, to the point where if someone doesn't change, you're afraid you might die. The psalmist equates the deer's degree of thirst to his desire for God. So my soul pants for you, my God. Like much needed water, God is our ever-present help. We pant for him because he brings renewed strength and refreshment to our weary lives, equipping us for whatever the day's journey holds. When have you been intensely thirsty or hungry or, and scared? Why should you be longing for God's presence? Loving God, thank you for the renewed strength I experience as you fill my life. Forgive me for looking to any other source but you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.